Symbolism in Art. Symbolism can be seen all around us. It's in art, it's in music, it's in our movies, and it's in our books and stories and writings. So what is a symbol? A symbol is an object or picture that stands for or represents something else. Sometimes an apple is not just an apple. It's not always what it seems. Let's take a look and figure out how. So let's look at an apple. An apple, to some people, they will think of things like teachers. Teachers are often associated with apples. We're given apples all the time as gifts or pictures of apples and things with apples on them. Some other people though, when they see apple, think of knowledge. Other people might think of how Snow White was tempted by that poison apple. So the apple could have a negative connotation to it. Other people see apple as something that is whole or wholesome and healthy. Like that saying, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. So even though it's one picture, it could be a symbol for a lot of different things. Hi Chargers, Ms. Vassalier just sent me her list of movements that she wants to use for this project and I'm gonna show you how I came up with the symbols that I wanna use for this. So think of this as kind of like a brainstorming kind of sketch session before we do the actual drawing outside. So this is kind of my way or my idea or my way to get my plan together of what symbols are gonna be in my path. So I just took a couple pieces of paper and wrote the type of movement I wanna do. And now I'm just gonna brainstorm some ideas of symbols I could do for when I'm running. When I think of running, I think of fast animals. Maybe I could do something like a bunny, but something as simple as a racetrack or a road could be a good symbol for run. Um, think about how when runners are running, they have that checkerboard flag that tells them to start and stop. So maybe putting a checkerboard flag could work. If I'm twirling, I think of going around, so maybe spiral lines, or even a loopy line could help me if I follow the line with my body, twirl around. That could be a cool thing. Um, sometimes ballerinas will twirl, so maybe I could, if I really wanted to get funky with my cymbal, make a tutu to start off the twirl so you know what kind of to do there. Maybe on another one, like we had talked about in our video, you can gallop and hop. Some things that are gallop are horses. But like Miss Basilier said, drawing an actual horse without looking at a photograph. Oh, Mrs. Hops, that does not look like a horse. That's too complicated. Think about something else you could do. Maybe you could draw a simple horse hoof path. Simple shapes, circles and lines together in that kind of way to make a gallop. And if you follow the hoof prints, that could make a, a cool gallopy kind of thing too. Maybe for uh, hopping, you could do something like a bunny paw. You could do like a bunny tail. I'm trying to think of other things that hops. Um, ooh, frogs are a good thing. Frog feet, I always like to draw those with really long outstretched toes. But again, this might be too complicated of something to draw. For frogs live on lily pads, maybe I could draw a lily pad but you have to be careful because now my horse hooves and my lily pads look too much the same. So you don't wanna use both symbols or else people are gonna think they have to do the same motion all over again. So in my plan, I don't think this is a good idea. Maybe I'll stick with that frog hop. Maybe I like my horse hooves too. In another plan, I've got some new movements here, kicking and crab walking. Well, crab walking is kind of easy because you could think of drawing a crab. But again, that's one of those really complicated symbols. So maybe you only draw that using simple shapes or lines once, and then you can draw a path. Like maybe you wanna crab walk in the line of a zigzag, and you draw the crab down here at the start of the path. Or maybe you draw your path, and every couple of feet, you can draw crab claws that kind of represent the crab walk. That could be kind of cool too. Maybe you can do an arrow, even to show which way that the movement path goes. Kicking, sometimes you could draw maybe the, the action line that the line makes. Kind of looks like a leg bending and then kicking. Maybe I make a pattern like that, you might kick. Maybe when you think of kicking, you think of ninjas. So you could draw like a ninja star symbol. And when you combine all of these things together, you can get your learning path. So we're gonna look at my sketches 
I'm gonna pick my favorite and I'm gonna decide what order I want them to go in. So I did six movements, but you really only need to have five in our final path. So I picked the five I like the most. I've got my gallop, my hop, my twirl, my kick, and my run. I think I like those the most, and it'll give me a lot of variety with my movement. For my gallop, I am gonna do those horse hooves. So that's gonna be the symbol I choose for that, so I can draw a path for my horse hooves. This is gonna be a really cool sketch idea. For hopping, I can draw my frog prints using simple lines and shapes. For twirling, I really like that loopy line, so I'm gonna make a loopy line path. Kicking, I think the ninja star makes the most sense. And remember, you're drawing this with chalk outside. This is just your plan. And for running, I'm totally gonna use that long road and then the finish line with that checkerboard. So this is the plan I can take outside with me and draw with the chalk. Let's go see how it looks.